and we're learning new details about the shooter in the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. FBI officials told members of Congress yesterday that the shooter used his cell phone and other devices to search images of Trump and President Biden. Meanwhile, Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle has agreed to testify before the House Oversight Committee. And CBS News correspondent Charlie DeMar is in Butler, Pennsylvania, picking up that part of the investigation. Charlie, good morning. And, good, and Marie, good morning. We are now learning that the gunman who opened fire here at the Trump rally on Saturday had visited this site at least one time before. And meanwhile, lawmakers who were briefed by the, Sec the Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle, they say they did get some answers, but they aren't satisfied with the answers that they have received so far. As for the investigation, again, it is moving forward. It is moving rapidly. And law enforcement sources say that they recovered three magazine on the shooter's body, along with a cell phone and a transmitter that may have been used to set off some of those suspicious devices found in both the shooter's car and house. And video appears to show that Thomas Matthew Crooks wandering the site of the rally before scaling the roof and an officer uh, snapped a picture, actually, of him about 26 minutes prior to opening fire. Of course, one person was killed, three others, including the former president, wounded. And cell phone video now shows former President Trump walking into the hospital moments after he was shot. You mentioned it off the top that we are learning also more about the shooter's search history, along with images of, fo of former President Trump and current President Joe Biden, the shooter, searched for the dates of the upcoming DNC coming up in August in Chicago. So we want to bring in Nicole Killian now to talk a little bit more about the investigation into the Secret Service response. Um, a lot of questions. Both the Secret Service and the FBI briefed lawmakers yesterday on the gunman. What was discussed? Yeah, well, according to sources familiar with that call, uh, members both in the House and Senate were briefed separately by not only officials from the Secret Service, but also the FBI. Uh, the FBI did tell lawmakers that some 200 interviews have been conducted uh, since this investigation has gotten underway. Uh, also, that the shooter did uh, previously visit the site of the rally at least once and uh, had searched images of both the former president and uh, President Biden. And now, uh, even in spite of that information, a number of lawmakers say that they were uh, dissatisfied by what came out of the briefing. And actually, at the Republican National Convention, a group of senators actually confronted the director of the Secret Service. Take a listen. <laughs> You're the head of the Secret Service. You owe answers. Today they call answers to the president, to the House, to the president, the past president, and you owe answers to the The president, the president should have this good protection for crying out loud. So that is Senator John Barrasso, who is the chair of the Senate Republican Conference, as well as Tennessee Senator uh, Marsha Blackburn, who confronted the director and called for her resignation, which is something that we have heard from a number of congressional Republicans in the wake of this assassination attempt from Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell to House Speaker Mike Johnson. Um, any idea when, I guess, the Secret Service Director uh, Kimberly Cheadle will be appearing in front of a House panel? When would she be available to answer some of these questions? Yeah, well, keep in mind that there are a number of congressional investigations that have been spurred by this, uh, but uh, the House Oversight Committee in particular was one of the panels that kind of came out first requesting an emergency hearing with the Secret Service Director, Kimberly Cheadle. They wanted her to appear before the panel next Monday, July 22nd, but in a letter obtained by CBS News, uh, the Secret Service Director uh, says that uh, she has has a conflict uh, with that date and is hoping to testify at a later time, perhaps July 25th or 26th or the following week uh, during the week of July 29th. But uh, the Secret Service does acknowledge that uh, the director certainly welcomes uh, this opportunity to testify and actually is disappointed uh, that this committee in particular, the Oversight uh, Committee, subpoenaed her. All right, Nicole, thank you.